just trying to clean this up a little bit. I can do this now while the ears are relatively thick. I can bang on the ends like this. I gotta make sure that the ends of those barbs or ears or whatever you call them are uh, thinned out first before before I move further into the point. I won't be able to thin these very effectively later. Now I said in an earlier video that it's difficult to pressure flake long barbs like that and long points but with experience you can do it with the pressure flaker of course. Um, it's just with me personally I tend to uh, I tend to break off long projections when pressure flaking and I think it's because I'm not paying attention to what I've got it resting on I've tried and you know I should be able to to uh, master that part with pressure flaking and I, I do pressure flaking on the tips and so forth but I still like to do a lot of indirect percussion on these delicate portions simply because I can put a lot of force in a small area and I'm used to it now to such an extent that I don't snap these off very often. I know I used to snap them off all the time and uh, this technique really is difficult uh, to master when it comes to these delicate points, uh, the delicate tips and barbs at first, if you, when you're beginning to do this, you probably won't be able to do exactly what I'm doing right now because this takes a little bit of practice. You got to know how to hit so that you're not going to snap off those delicate portions. And I will come back and pressure flake that. So uh, that was not correct, you know. Pressure flaking is effective for the long barbs and points and tips. But if you're a master at, or if you get good at the indirect, there isn't any reason why you can't do everything with this technique. Uh, at least in the roughing out stages. In the final edge work and all that, I don't think you can escape the pressure flaking. I think you cannot entirely eliminate pressure flaking from the process. But uh, you can definitely do a lot with indirect in order to minimize your pressure flaking if you're having trouble with it, if you're snapping a lot of stone using the technique. Uh, I've tried using anvils in my, in my hand to uh, to help elevate certain parts of the point and uh, so forth and so on, but I still was not able to get the flake quality that I was looking for. I wasn't able to generate enough power through the pressure without ultimately breaking the point I was working on. So. Well, I'm doing this, the thought process is basically just keep doing the, the things that are successful. I don't really think about it. In fact, my main goal is to eventually reach the point where I'm not having to think about anything. You just go ahead and do it and make the point that I'm planning on making and just kind of watch and enjoy the ride at least that's a theory anyway <laughs> 